In this video, I'm going to show you that how we can automate the process of bug bounty hunting by using a tool that is known as Docs Hunter. So basically, this tool is used to perform automation through Google Docs. So you don't have to type the docs manually, it will do it for you. All you need to do is you just need to specify the domain name. And if there are contents related to that particular DOR, then it will show you on your terminal. So before that, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I have shown you that how we can create our own custom nuclei templates, then I recommend you to check that out. And let's get started for this video. So let me head over to my browser to show you what this tool is all about. So this is the tool over here. And by the way, if you want to practice account takeover vulnerabilities to increase your bug bounty skills, then I recommend you to check out our site, bepractical.tech. And here in the lab sections, there are multiple labs of account takeover based on real world scenario. So you can practice one of them by just clicking on one of the labs here and you can try to take over the account of this admin. So let's get back to the video. So here's this tool, we have the docs hunter. So first of all, we need to clone this tool into our Kali Linux machine. So I'm just going to copy this and let me open my Kali Linux. So I'm just going to type command and here I'm going to type Kali. And by the way, if you don't know how to install Kali Linux on Windows machine, then the link is given down in the description. You can just click on that link and learn how to install Kali Linux. So now what we need to type is we need to type this following command. Before that, let me create a directory. Let's say cybersec and I'm going to head over to that directory. Now let's clone the repository. So I'm just going to clone it. Now, as you can see, the tool is cloned. Now, what we need to do is we need to clear the screen and we need to head over to Docs Hunter. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to type the following command pip3 install minus r requirements.txt. Now, hit enter and it will install all the dependencies for you. So as you can see, in my case, it is already installed, but in your case, it is going to take some time depending on your internet speed. And if you don't have Python or pip installed in your machine, then you can simply install it by typing the following commands. So the first command that you need to type is you need to type sudo apt install python3 and minus y. After that, you have to specify your root password. And as you can see, Python is already installed in my case. And if you want to install python3 pip, then you need to type sudo apt install python3 dash pip minus y. So as you can see, it is already installed as well. So we don't need to do anything in my case. But in your case, if you encounter some kind of problem related to python or pip, then you can just resolve it by typing the following two commands. Okay, let's get back to the video. And let us see how we can use this particular tool. So I'm going to type python3 docs hunter and minus h. So as you can see, these are the following options that we have for this tool. So we can specify the result, uh, we can, sorry, we can specify the domain, we can specify the result, and we can specify the output. So as you can see, it is the domain can be used to scan the domain. And this result flag is used to a number of results per second. And the output flag is used to uh, save the output to a particular file. So let us try to craft a simple command using this particular flag. So I'm just going to type Python 3. Mm, doc hunter.py and after that specify the domain and for example let's specify the vulnerable domain which was testphp.vulnerable.com and let's see whether we can find vulnerabilities on this particular domain through google docs so i'm just going to head back and i'm going to type the following domain testphp.vulnerable.com and i'm going to save the output uh, something like uh, test.txt that's it now let's try to hit enter and let's see if the program is running correctly or not so as you can see the uh, doc hunter is started and as you can see it is showing different directories different uh, URLs, sorry in which the particular doc has encountered the same domain name as you can see here so let me stop this and now as you can see it is showing that http error 429 too many errors why is it showing it is simply showing this because when you uh, send too many requests to google it will temporarily block your request and it will temporarily not allow you to perform google docs so in that case you don't have to do anything you just need to wait for an hour 
and after that it will work it will work again with no issues so right now as you can see we have this particular url that we can use and as you can see it is it is displaying php info.php right so this is let me just copy this and let's paste it over here so as you can see we successfully got the php information so this vulnerability comes under the information disclosure and programs actually pays for this particular vulnerability so let me show you if i type php information disclosure and hacker one and as you can see there are too many vulnerability reports of the same php info right so if you head over to any one of these let's wait for a few seconds and here as you can see in this case the report is triaged which means this was a valid report and what did the reporter did it simply just the same vulnerability that we find over here so this tool docs hunter can help us a lot when we are in directly or indirectly involved in google docking so it will automate your process of google docs and as you can see this report was triaged by nahamsek one of the best hackers on youtube and if we head over to another uh, report as you can see this was reported to us department of defense and it was also triage however the severity is low no worries and if we head over to some more uh, reports we can see that some of the reports even got a bounty so let us wait for a few seconds As you can see, this report was also triaged. So, if I type something like this PHP info hacker one, and let's see one of these reports. So, as you can see, there are too many reports, and around 90% of reports are triaged, which means that they're which means that they are valid reports. So, the U US General of Service Administration. It was a duplicate but it's still considered as a vulnerability and here it is severity is medium use department of defense and i should be able to find some a php info that was awarded a bounty yeah so here as you can see there was the php info and sql backup so this particular bounty case was awarded Two hundred dollars. Actually, I did find some of the some of vulnerability. As you can see, this was the first first time it was awarded hundred dollar bounty. So maybe hundred dollar for PHP info and hundred dollar for the particular SQL dump, right? So I hope you have understood that how we can use this particular application, which is Docs Hunter. And there are too many docs that, as you can see, there are some docs to extract the backup files and so many useful docs that you can use to find sensitive informations so if you have any doubts or if you have any issues then please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching